بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لم يكن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين منفكين حتى تأتيهم البينة رسول من الله يتلو صحف متحرة فيها كتب قيمة وما تفرق الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءتهم البينة وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا الله مخلصين له الدين حنفاء ويقيموا الصلاة ويؤتوا الزكاة وذلك دين القيمة إن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين في نار جهنم خالدين فيها أولئك هم هم شر البرية إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات أولئك هم خير البرية جزاؤهم عند ربهم جنة عدن تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله وردوا عنه ذلك لمن خاش يا رب سرق الله بي العزيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلي محمد You guys can come over here and give a certificate to the case, both of you, please. Salaamu Alaikum, everyone. Salaamu Alaikum. I don't think I can hear you. Salaamu Alaikum, everyone. Salaamu Alaikum. Are you guys excited? Yeah. So, inshallah, we're going to start uh, with preschool. And before we begin, I have one question for you guys. Do you guys know whose birthday it is today? Aiden. Raise your hand. Oh, that's no, no, right. Aiden's birthday. Can everyone give him a loud salawat for his birthday? Allah How old are you, Aiden? Nine. Nine, mashallah. He's still younger than me. It's someone else's birthday today, too. Can someone tell me whose birthday it is today? MashaAllah, give a loud salawat for you. MashaAllah, that's a very happy occasion, joyous occasion today. Okay, so inshallah we'll start with pre-K. So when, uh, when I call your name, you can get a uh, certificate and you can shake hands with uh, Mulana, uh, Sheikh Ahmed, and uh, Sheikh Osama up here. Um, Ella Al Jorani. Ella. Ella. Gila, you you are going to kindergarten? No. Let's go. There you go. Sarah, <laughs> Sorry, for she's absent. Elias Mirza. Come on, son. <laughs> Uh, in the next level, we're going to be giving a folder that has all the works for uh, kindergarten, so the parents can see like all the major work they've done this year. Zaidan Mirza. Layla Jackson. Layla, where did you go? Hey, here we go. She's here. Fadal Ali Al Uthman. Muhammad Ali Al Uthman. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Mehdi Ali. Mehdi, where is Mehdi? Mehdi. 
Studies for a Beginners class, and she's the most soft-spoken and compassionate person. She spends here her time here every Sunday with the little precious children who require a lot of patience but amount of calmness. At this very young age, these children may not remember everything that was taught to them, but they will remember how special they felt every single moment when they were with her. So we're blessed and grateful to have her being part of this institute. She makes a huge difference by being here. We are allowed to Allah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. So, uh, Sister Mariam, she teaches Islamic studies to the intermediate and advanced level. She's not only very intellectual, but she's also very creative. She comes up with new fun ways to introduce her lesson that her students love and enjoy being every moment with her. And her amazing work is shown with the script she wrote in yesterday's movie. And she does the most phenomenal job when it comes to narrating and portraying Islamic history. We haven't seen anyone this good who is able to keep her students engaged. So we can go on and on with her skill set. We have to mention that her morning assembly is loved by all her students and also the parents. Give her love, Salaam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Uh, Brother Zamin, our school is not only appreciative for him who teaches Quran to our beginners, but also for getting down to the physical level of a student because it matters. Not only is it limited to thinking of a new way to reach someone, uh, he devotes his time every Sunday to care for little kids. He's a teacher who's known for the lives they touch and he's influenced and made a difference in every single one of these hearts. All we would like to say is that an awesome teacher and most importantly an awesome person is very hard to find. We have lots of love for Brother Islamin. <laughs> Uh, Sister Zahra, she teaches Quran to the intermediate and advanced level. She herself has memorized the Holy Quran and she recites it beautifully. Her timeless efforts in helping students perfect their pronunciation and recitation is something these kids will cherish for life. Her knowledge and potential is a great treasure for our school. Allah salawat for Sister Zahra. Sister Ma Malika. She helps out with the Quran in the intermediate level, making sure kids have their beginning level mastered. In addition to helping in class, she gives her effort and time in helping with the kids' lunch program. And she treats all the kids with extreme love and care, and all her efforts are extremely appreciated and admired. Sister Malika. <laughs> Brother Hassan, he helps teach the advanced level students Quran and Namaz in order to make sure that they master their skills flawlessly. His timeless efforts and amazing work in filming the school movie can't be appreciated with words. He is such a humble person and his positivity inspires all of us. We are grateful for every single minute of his time and contribution. Brother Hassan. For those of you who didn't watch his movie yesterday, you have to see the movie him and the kids produce. It is phenomenal. It was hilarious. Maybe like we can pray it again today. Like. Uh, Sister Faiza, she helps out with the pre-K class. Her smile makes each and every one feel special and loved. Her creativity makes the class lesson fun and exciting. It is due to her efforts and sweet nature that she was able to bond with these young kids so quickly. We appreciate all the time she supported and contributed towards the school. Sister Faiza. Abul Hassan just came. So inshallah. Abul Hassan, if you can come up here, we're there. Give a lot of brother. I think we forgot one person. Do you guys know who did we not recognize? Who is the principal? Brother Naveed, please.
I think uh, we, we cannot uh, finish this year and mashallah this is our second year of uh, our, our school here in, in, in this location or in, in this new foundation. We cannot finish that without recognizing our uh, uh, esteemed principal and, and uh, brother Sadir and, uh, and uh, sister Batul who have put in tremendous effort and time to make this school successful and, and have put in the energies and dedication which has made this all possible. So uh, on behalf of uh, the community, uh, entire uh, uh, IFAD community and the board, uh, I would like to thank uh, Brother Sadiq uh, and, and uh, Sister Batul. We have a small uh, gift card that I'd like the chef to hand over to Sadiq and Sister Batul. Please come and have a bouquet of flowers. and take it with you wherever you go, right? This is the, uh, the word for the children, the student. Last word and kalima for the teachers. Teachers, not me, no one can thank them. No one can evaluate how much their thawam and reward 
from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The importance of knowledge is you can tell we have 6,660 ayah, more or less, in the Holy Quran. Let me ask you this so my, my speech will not be bored. Do you remember the first ayah, the first uh, verses revealed in the Holy Quran? Not the first surah and last surah, the first five verses. What they are, in which surah, and what's their subject? Okay, I'll help you. Iqra, bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. This is the first subject ever in the Holy Quran, knowledge. That's how important of knowledge of ilm in Islam. If you know one language, you learn another language, you are two human beings in one. Imam Ali alayhi salam, he said, Allah, 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 Allah. He said, lisan in insan. Every tongue, every language you speak, you are another human being. But if you know Urdu, you know English, you know Urdu, you complete your Urdu. If you know, if you are from Arabic country, don't forget to learn to keep your Arabic language. If you are from Iran, Afghanistan, same thing. Don't lose this second language or first language, right? So the mu'allimin, the teachers, no one can give them what they deserve. I'll give you a story from, which is today, the birth of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. One of the children of Imam Hussein, his name was Ja'far. Ja'far, was near eight, six, seven, five, ten. His teacher name is Abdul Rahman al -Salami. He taught him and he teach him Surah Al-Hamd, Surah al Right? Sometimes, for example, you go, you buy a clothes. This clothes could worth maybe $100, but if you pay $10,000, people will tell you what's wrong with you. You don't know that. The value of this is a hundred dollars. How much? How come you pay ten thousand? That's what's happened when Abdul Rahman Salami he taught the son of Imam Hussein only Surah Fatiha. This is for the teachers. What great job you are doing! No one can reward you except Allah Subhanahu So Imam Hussein. In return for the teaching of his son Ja'far to Abdul Rahman al Salami, he gave him expensive clothes. Diamond, which is maybe 50, 100 times more than what he was expecting. People they told him the same, how come you only teach him Alhamd? فقال الإمام الحسين أينما أعطانا مما أعطانا فاتحة The teacher, no one can reward them but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, teachers, remember this. That you are putting your steps on the steps of the prophets. Imam, you are doing their job. The holy prophet Muhammad, this is the last story. they are doing, they call him, they are seeking knowledge. They are learning. 
akhlaq, how to respect parents, <coughs> how to deal with others. So he said, kullun ala khayr. Both of them, they are doing good, good things. Walakin Allah ba'athani mu'allima. He said, both of them, they are good. They have dua, communication, salat. And this group, they are seeking knowledge. And then he went and he joined the other group which they were seeking knowledge. He said, kullun ala khayr. Walakin Allah ba'athani mu'allima. They are doing, both of them they are doing good things, but Allah sent me as a muallim, as a teacher. So you are, you are helping these kids to be with knowledge, to know the halal and haram. You are helping them to, uh, to seek this knowledge and to be uh, a good uh, members in the society. And last story from Bibi Fatima is Zahra Ali Which is this is very interesting story. <laughs> All of Ahlul Bayt they were Muallim, even Fatima is Zahra. Bibi Zainab alayhi salatu was salam when she was <laughs> when she was in Kufa. The man of Kufa they request from Imam Ali alayhi salam in that period of time to give permission to Bibi Zainab alayhi salam to have classes for the ladies of Kufa. She was a mu'allim. How many stories? I cheat now. I put this story inside of the story. So you are doing the job of Bibi Zainab alayhi salam Fatima Zahra alayhi salatu wassalam, Imam Ali Rasulullah, that's who you are, teachers. And the last story, which is from Fatima Zahra alayhi salatu wassalam, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This story, if you study, you will see it in the life of Fatima alayhi salatu wassalam. One young girl, she approached her. She said, My mother, or no she cannot come. Can I ask you a question? She said, yes, ask. She asked question. I know my time's over. She asked question. Second question. Third, until fa'asharat. Asharat means she asked ten questions. She gave her a hard time. You see, sometimes people, they call us, they say, she need istikhara. I say, can we have second istikhara? Third istikhara? So the same thing. <coughs> So she asked her ten questions, and then she apologized. She said, saying to me, my master father, maybe I gave you a hard time. Father, please, I'm She said, no, no problem. If someone tell you, or oh, young girl, if someone tell you, carry this heavy load and take it to the second or third floor, but I will give you a big amount of money, you will be tired. She said, no, of course. I'm not tired because I will receive a lots of money, lots of reward. She said, same thing. But the other statement she, she said that, she said, the meaning of that, that a teacher, she is, when he or she teaching the student, they are the aitam. You know, yatim? Yatim, tell a person he's hopeless, orphan. It's an orphan. Aitamu Shia, the orphans of Yatim, which is when a person has no father and no mother. He's someone to take care of them. So Father Mizala alayhi salatu salam, she gave an example of that. The teachers, same as a person he or she taking care of the orphans. How much the law? So you, I, if you have time, I'll tell you more stories, but Brother Sadaf is here. <laughs> and uh, I know, and let me say this joke, because I don't think this uh, community is a Khojo community. There are few communities, but in Khojo community, you cannot speak more than what they give you. <laughs> and they are very strict with the time. <laughs> so, the board member knows about you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, alhamdulillah, it's your fault you put the clock here, but... Uh, 
Mashallah, congratulate you for the graduation. So we had two kids that came in. Thank you, Milana, for the speech. Um, so when I call your name, uh, Milana, sorry if, I, if you could come up again for these two kids. Sorry, both of you. Awas Al Jarani. Last but not least, Ali Haider. <laughs> now we'll have uh, Sheikh Osama say a few words, inshallah. <laughs> Good words have been said, the things have been mentioned, even some of the ahadith that I had written down, alhamdulillah, Malana shared them with us. So now I just want to say one point, and that is now that we know, this is now for the teachers, those who are actually carrying this heavy weight for the entire community, and all of us as community members, we recognize the importance of the effort that's being given to support Islam and these countries. For the brothers and sisters who have the tawfiq from Allah, that Allah has granted them this tawfiq from Allah, they have to remember that the way of the Ahlul Bayt salam, is to lead by inspiration. To lead by inspiration. They asked the Imam, they said that you people are going and making bay'ah to you. Right? And the Imam used these words. He said that I am Imam al -qulub. I rule over the hearts. So why is that so important? What happens for brothers and sisters, and I'll mention this, although the children are present, and the idea is for them also to implement Islam's teachings. Your students look at you and what you do even more than what you say. Even more important than what we say in the class is how we live our lives as Muslims. So for us as believers, we want to remember that our students, for instance, they see our Instagram, our Facebook, our, they see all of these things, right? And as teachers, if we're acting and practicing Islam, then the teacher, the students are getting that. If as a teacher I'm picking and choosing Islam, then because I love my teacher, then that's going to be my understanding of Islam. So just that reminder to all of us, first myself and also you all. And I also want to reiterate what the Shaykh said, that I was hoping to say the same thing. I'm so glad he said it. I'm hoping that this is the beginning and a foundation. After this, for this community, we go through a after-school program, inshallah, and then a K through 12. Inshallah. <laughs> Thank you, Malana. We have a couple of clips to play in a few minutes, so uh, let's watch the clips and uh, then, uh, inshallah, after that we'll have a namaz time. <laughs>
Let's observe an example of how destructive laws are Assalamualaikum, students. When the bell rings, I expect you all to be attentive and ready to start the school day. Who's the one fit so I just had it right here? Come on, Nasser, why are you always accusing people? It's right there. Oops. I have some wonderful news this morning. Your classmate, Yusuf, has been accepted to Juilliard with a four-year piano scholarship. Thanks, Miss Ali. I am so happy. I've been playing piano ever since I was four, and all I've ever hoped for was to get into Juilliard and become a famous concert pianist. Miss Ali, what about me? I also have a four-year scholarship to the ASU for my football playing skills. Of course, Razim, but we found out about you last week, and so I announced that then. We're all proud of you, but we found out about Yusuf today, and so that's why I'm sharing it with the class. In other news, uh, the school newspaper needs a photographer if anyone would like to apply, and be sure to hand in permission slips for the field trip next week. Okay, homeroom announcements are over, so you can all go to your classes. Um, last year, I have a question for you. Are you coming to my room tonight? Of course, I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. What's wrong? I, I, I can't find my phone last year. Maybe you can look at your phone. I used it this morning for a home room. Hmm. Oh, I know. I saw you searching your bed home room. I missed it talking to Miss Aline. I saw her running through. I'm good mean for that to happen though. You should follow once you charge with assault. Sir, if I'm charged with assault, I'm gonna lose my scholarship. Well, you should have thought about that before you falsely accused your class fellow and broke his hand. As you know, the fighting is against school rule. You'll be suspended for five days. Your parents are going to pick you up. Kids, Start making good about people because if you don't, you can lose a lot of great friends that they lose. 
So we can always just try to our best to push away those thoughts and think better things of other people. Um, in my opinion, there would not be as many misunderstandings if people just automatically thought the best of people and let it go. And with that, we can create a better environment and come to a proper environment.
Alright guys, uh, we have uh, one more student who just joined us, Maulana. One more time, I have come to give you a travel. Roha, if you can come over here and collect your gift. Please uh, give a round salvar to her. <laughs> So now uh, you guys can have donuts. Yay! So you guys are free to go. Donuts, wazu, salad, and then I'll tell you more. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna hold Yes. <laughs> 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 